Hey, if you're a first responder suffering from PTSD, let me assure you, it is perfectly understandable if you don't want to reach out to mental health professionals and you don't want to reach out to your peers and talk about your pain and suffering. It's also completely understandable if you did reach out, didn't get the help you needed, and now you're giving up on yourself and your ability to recover. That makes sense. But if that's the case, let me shed some light on the truth about PTSD recovery. Hey there, welcome. I'm Dr. Pamela Serafin. The topic today is the truths about PTSD recovery for first responders. If that's you, then of course, I realize you deserve your own content. You are in an elite profession dealing with brutal workplace uh, in environments. So I want to address that. And I want you to know that I consider you a heroic achiever, but that does not mean I'm not aware of the fuckery going on behind uh, closed doors because you're dealing with unresolved trauma. So let's talk about PTSD recovery and what I like to what I like to call the three devils likely stopping you from recovering from the trauma you've experienced. Truth number one, you work in a closed system. Now, operating in a closed system is essential for your profession, right? It's protective, gives you a sense of community, secures tradition. However, it inadvertently limits objectivity and access to innovative solutions outside that closed system. So the devil isn't the closed system itself. The devil is in your ability to take personal responsibility to seek out uh, unbiased perspectives that can help you deal with the challenges you're facing. Truth number two, you're dealing with broken models. Now in the vast sea of PTSD and trauma treatment, recognize that a lot of it is rooted in uh, old outdated broken models of psychological approaches. And that's because the psychology and the mental health dogma has been around longer than we have the new neuroscience uh, technology that we have today. So the devil is not in necessarily changing the old models models are getting rid of them, but it is in your awareness to cultivate an understanding and awareness that new approaches actually exist. Truth number three, your brain is malfunctioning. Now, is that tough to hear? How can it be tough to hear your tough mother? That's that's minor. You can't pretend that the trauma hasn't changed the structure and functioning of your brain because it has. So let's deal with that reality. So the devil here is recognizing that your brain is going to torture you unless you get control over it. That's what mastering your brain is all about. You've got to recognize that you're not your brain, you're your soul, your conscious self. And you're very much capable of recovering and your life is worth fighting for. Well, that's it for today's video. I could just keep going on this topic for sure. But I'll leave it at that. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Your feedback is important to me. And remember, the key to sustainable positive change is learning how to master your brain. See you again soon.